Hey guys, this is Lionel Pill here. What's going on? Welcome to another video of mine. Today's video is going to be a commentary on a couple of topics. Um, the first of which is that this is my first video in the new year. So happy new year to everyone watching. Hopefully you guys uh, have set new year's resolutions to help become a bigger and better person. Um, personal growth and all that stuff. Um, and going on from uh, the topic of new year... Um, tying it in to this time last year uh, with Black Ops 3 in particular. Um, I had already hit Prestige Master uh, this time last year. I actually hit it a few days before New Year. Um, so I kind of wanted to touch on that a little bit because Infinite Warfare, I'm only about uh, towards the end of the fourth Prestige uh, at the moment, which is uh, not all too comparable to Black Ops 3 last year. Um, Black Ops 3 last year, as I just said, I hit Prestige Master um, by the 1st of January, um, which I feel like has a couple of reasons. Um, I am starting to enjoy Infinite Warfare, as I kind of briefly mentioned in last commentary, uh, where I was talking about MLG Vegas and the uh, professional COD players' opinions on Infinite Warfare, and in general, I kind of uh, mentioned that it is starting to grow on me. Like, Infinite Warfare is starting... Do, uh, to become less of a grind, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, comparing it to Black Ops 3, I just enjoyed it a hell of a lot more from the get-go. I think that's the particular thing, is that Infinite Warfare, they... It took a little bit to get used to um, the slight quirks that each Call of Duty has uh, when it changes from COD to COD. Um... And I also kind of think that it is to do with the deatomizer strikes. I still don't know how I feel about um, each gun having a needing a variant to get the uh, nuclear or the deatomizer strike. Um, because I've, uh, just personally, I've got like my gameplay worthy uh, videos and, and uh, uncommentated gameplays, that kind of thing. Um, and it's got a weird analysis vibe to it where I've got higher scoring games but they don't have a nuclear and similarly I have higher scoring games where I choke the nuclear and then I almost get like like two 15 to 20 gun strikes um but I don't get the nuclear so I, I don't know I've got this weird analysis vibe in my own uh gameplay folder of um high scoring games without a nuclear variant it's like, what do I use it for? I kind of, um, I go on tears and stuff like that, but then I don't get a nuclear, so it's just a, it's a really annoying mentality. But going on from that, I feel like now that I've got the nuclear variants, I've got the NV4, FHR, the K-Bar, and the uh, Type 2 nuclear variants, um, and I feel like I am enjoying the game a little bit more because I can kind of go... For them, um, I played the absolute shit ton of Modern Warfare 3 with the mobs around, um, and I feel like it's a similar thing where these objectives per game um, allows me to grind out the game more so than if they were not there. Um, and uh, as I say that, I'm about to, I'm one kill off the Deatomizer Strike and I don't want to choke it, so I'm kind of playing it a little bit bitchy. Um, but there's the streak just there. And also, uh, early in the game, I picked up the K-Bar variant, um, the K-Bar Igloo Buster. And it actually starts counting another nuclear streak, which I don't know if is if that's particular for picking up a, a different nuclear gun, or if it normally does that, because I, I don't generally pay any attention, but I kind of start up the um, a second nuclear streak here as well. Um, but... Uh, yeah, where was I going with that? Yeah, so uh, Infinite Warfare is starting to grow on me, even though I am only 4th Prestige 50-something, uh, 50-something rather, um, compared to hitting Prestige Master this time last year. Um, so I don't know... I'm hoping that the, the grind continues um, and it doesn't uh, like eventually fade or whatever, but I'm hoping it continues um, and I keep on the... Uh, the COD grind for Infinite Warfare and stuff like that. This is coming towards the end of the gameplay, though. Um, 
spoilers, I do uh, choke the streak in just a little bit here. Um, I was trying to be super aggressive to try and squeeze out the final 20 kills, um, but I probably was a little bit too aggressive uh, when I should have slowed down a bit. But that's basically the gameplay, calling in the Deatomizer Strike in just a split second here. Hopefully guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary. Uh, if you did, feel free to, uh, feel free to hit the like button. Um, is is always appreciated when uh, when I see those likes come in. If you do happen to be watching this and you aren't already subscribed to the channel, feel free to hit the uh, subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my future content, whatever that may be. Um, I am looking at expanding uh, a few variations in content, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like I said, like button, all that jazz. Hopefully I catch you in my next video. Catch you next time. Bye.